Hello, I'm Ellie. And I'm Charlotte, and we run a bridal boutique in South West London called Ellie and Charlotte. We've been making wedding dresses for the last 10 years, and we're going to show you some of our top tips on finding your perfect dress and accessorising. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about how to choose your garter. There are different fabrics, you can have different detailing, whether it's the blue ribbon or a white ribbon, or if you want a specific colour. And sometimes you can have the sixpence in it as well. It's a really traditional part of the day, but you do have to consider what your wedding dress is like to whether you can actually wear one, or if you just pop it in on at a certain point in the ceremony. If you're wearing a more traditional A-line structured dress, you can pop the garter on from the beginning of the day because you won't be able to see it. If you go for a more fluid, simple dress and you do still want the tradition of a garter, you may have to pop it on after the ceremony just for the photo novelty because otherwise you'll see it under the dress. Traditionally they do sit on the top of the thigh and everyone likes to have a sneaky peek at the garter after you've been married. However, we have done it before where brides that do wear more slinky dresses do wear it slightly lower just for the ceremony so it's there but then move it up for the photos. They're a good fun thing to have and all the boys like looking at them. It can be something blue and something borrowed so it's always worth asking your friend or even your mum to see if they still have their wedding garter. It's a really lovely thing to pass on. So think about your wedding dress and your style of it to see if you can wear a garter on your wedding day. And this is how you choose your wedding garter.